Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net I've just written a brand new blog post on how to back up your WordPress site or you can use this to back up any sort of site it doesn't have to be WordPress and move to a new host uh, if you're wanting to do this and move to a new domain you have to be very very careful because the URLs will change for both your internal linking which is so important for SEO and, and your incoming incoming links which you, which obviously you can change by uh, just adding a redirection in your in your C panel which is very straightforward so uh, but uh, I've written several other blog posts on how to back up and move to a new host but I've, re I've redone this one um, the other ones I've uh, basically uh, uh, written around using a premium WordPress plugin that I recommend which does save so much time but uh, this one's uh, like a freebie you know if you don't want to spend any money on a plugin and you want to do it yourself so uh, I've discussed uh, it's very very comprehensive this uh, this tutorial I'm really proud of it because I've learned so much from making so many mistakes especially last year transferring all my blogs to a new host and uh, and this one's uh, this one's come up really really well so uh, if you can get through to the end of this blog post and, and successfully transfer your blog to a new host I'm sure you're going to learn a hell of a lot from uh, from this blog post because it does cover all bases uh, here's the seven main steps uh, creating a full backup of your files which is the first step and that includes not just a database backup but uh, back at backing up all your plugins and your plugin settings configurations your theme theme settings uh, everything that's not a database you know, needs to be fully backed up uh, creating a full backup of, backup of your database which is very straightforward um, Creating a new, bar to, new database when you choose your new host um, using the, the MySQL database wizard. It's very, very simple to do this. Um, editing your site's config file database settings, which you have to do. It sounds a bit daunting when you first see this, but it's very, very simple. It's just a matter of using an editor, and you can do this inside cPanel, inside, inside, file, uh, inside file manager or you can do it uh, on your local system using Notepad++ which is a free uh, editor and it's just a matter of changing the database setting so when you create a new database you, you, you enter a new database name, username and password you can use the existing names that you use for your old database at your, at your old host and you just enter them into the config file when you're editing the config file so it's very very simple you locate the config file and uh, and you just change that information so so basically you when you when you when you restore your files to your uh, to your new host um, the database can connect to them so it's, that's all it is it's, it's really simple uh, I've included a step on how to choose a new host I'm trying to flog everyone hosting so I can make a bit of money and pay my bills so uh, I've got some really good coupons there the maximum coupons you'll get for the biggest host so uh, if you're looking for a new host uh, Hostgator Blue Host they're the best two hosts in my opinion I've got some really good coupons there and there's some really good freebies as well so um, so I'll give that a bit of a plug um, yeah, restoring your full WordPress site back up to your new host uh, and importing your database into um, PHP My Admin that can be done using File Manager or uh, or FTP and it's and it's really straightforward. You can even use a WordPress plugin to do that. And then the last step, which is changing your name servers over, so just uh, logging into your Domain Manager and changing your DNS settings to match your new hosts. Uh, name servers so that's really straightforward so it's a it's a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial I've highlighted all the main keywords there for so I get so I get good search results but also so it makes it easy for for anyone that needs the information I've got screenshots I've also made videos as well so uh, which cover everything every step of the process so uh, and I've posted them to YouTube uh, and I've, I've marked them at the end here where it's got uh, related posts and resources of if it's a video I'll mark it video so so this is probably the one of the best blog posts you're going to see I think on backing fully backing up your site and moving to a new host I've, I've written a few already and I hope this helps out so uh, cheers and, and good luck